Hi folks, it's Teresa from Stringfield Ridge Farm. It's been a little bit since I've done a video. Um, I have been making a delicious homemade bread that I wanted to share with you because it is so easy and delicious and I decided I better share this. Um, so, I'm also gonna try it with some uh, nine grain flour that I bought for my low carb uh, diet. And uh, so, first I'm gonna make it for Lee. Uh, I've made it a couple of times and we both ate it, but I need to get back on my low carb. So uh, I'm making this with some flour. Uh, it is uh, unbleached flour that I'm making for Lee. And uh, then I'm also going to, I'm gonna show you that one. Then I'm also gonna try this with the nine grain flour that is more of a low carb, not real low carb, but it's low carb, lower carb than the flour. And uh, it's more like, it will be more like an Ezekiel bread, uh, which I have been buying the Ezekiel bread at Walmart. And I'm gonna try it with this recipe and uh, see how that turns out and I'll let you know. And uh, so anyway, here we go, let's get going. All right, so here is this uh, unbleached flour that I bought at Walmart. All purpose unbleached organic flour and we're gonna use four cups of this. Of course, the recipe will be in the description below. I also wanna show you the nine grain flour that I bought. I bought this through Amazon and uh, it would be more similar to the um, Ezekiel bread that I have been getting. Okay, next it calls for two teaspoons of salt. I use uh, Redmond's Real Salt. Uh, you can use any salt. I like Redmond's Real Salt for the minerals in it. And uh, also I sometimes use Himalayan Pink Salt. Uh, so you can use any you got. And uh, next will be the same, two teaspoons of sugar. I use a raw unbleached sugar also, that's a uh, merino or whatever it's called. It's a raw unbleached organic sugar. Might help us a little bit. Uh, so, and then two teaspoons of instant yeast. Uh, I have the fast rising instant yeast. Uh, packets. So, two, te two teaspoons of each of those. Okay, now I got the two teaspoons of each of those in there, and now it calls for two cups of warm water. And then you let it rise for an hour. You mix it up, mix it up some, let it rise for an hour. How simple is that? There's more steps. That's the hardest part. The easy part is uh, after that. Uh, letting it rise is about all you do from here on. So you've got those few ingredients, uh, four cups of flour, um, two teaspoons of salt, sugar, and yeast, and then your two cups of warm water. Mix that up, let it rise for an hour. So simple. Uh, I got all that in there, stirred it around. It's kind of just a doughy consistency there. And then I will cover that with a towel and let it rise for an hour. But this is the easiest bread I ever made and it is delicious. So that's why I had to show you because it is so simple. All right, so we're gonna let this rise for an hour. Okay, so this recipe calls for two buttered bowls. So I've got two Pyrex bowls here. I'm gonna butter the inside of them and that's what this recipe calls for. I'm sure you can use loaf pans or whatever you want, but because the recipe called for buttered bowls and I had these Pyrex bowls, I used them and we loved it that way. So that's what I'm using. You can use whatever you want. Okay, y'all, I gotta finish up this bread. 
and I had to move to a different counter because Lee come in and he is cutting up some deer meat where we were at. So I'm gonna have to finish this up on a different counter that's shorter. So bear with me here. Man, more important. He said his is more important. <laughs> so I'm gonna face this down to my bread. Bear with me here, y'all. All right, here's my bread risen. All right, and what I'm gonna do, I've got my buttered bowls I told you about. I buttered them all the way to the top because this is gonna rise all the way to the top. So here's our dough. I've got clean hands. I'm gonna separate this in half. So I've got to split this in half and get each half into a bowl. So let's see here, each half just down into a bowl. All right, it's kind of messy. If I had powdered my hands, this wouldn't be quite as bad, but like I said, lays in my way, so I can't do all that. So I'm just putting half in one, half in the other. I'll show you that and get this little bit off the bottom here if I can. And I'm gonna have to go wash my hands up because I didn't have flour on my hands to get that out of there. Lay is in my way. So let me get my hands washed up and we'll come back. All right, so got that dough out of the bowl. We're gonna throw that over there. Here are my two bowls with my half and half uh, here. We are gonna let this rise for another 20 minutes. See those in the bowls? I'm gonna set those on top of my oven, um, on top of my stove. I've got the oven going on low because I'm cooking something else. So my oven's on. So since my oven's on and will be warm, I'll set these over there and that'll help it rise faster. 20 minutes. And then after they rise for 20 minutes, we stick them in the oven on 350 for 30 minutes. And that's it, y'all. I'll show you the end result here in a minute. We're gonna do our 20 minutes and then stick them in the oven. So there you go, folks. Just pulled that bread out of the oven. Look at that. Just perfect. We're gonna have that with some smothered pork chops and some mashed potatoes. And uh, I'll show you a piece of that bread when I get it cut here at the end. But uh, that is perfect bread, so easy and uh, delicious. So these just dump right out of the bowl so easy. Like it doesn't stick at all. You just turn that bowl upside down and they drop right out. And uh, I'm gonna try to go ahead and get one cut a little. They are still pretty hot. I really should let that cool more before I show it. I think I might have to. So we just kind of do it like this. Let's do it like that. Kind of crusty on the outside and then just uh, fluffy on the inside. So perfect. I should have let that cool a little more before I cut it, but I wanted to show that. Delicious. This is some good bread. Delicious, easy, quick, few ingredients, so easy to make. Y'all try this out, and as soon as I make uh, some of it with the nine grain flour, I will, um, let you know about that. I didn't get to make that tonight. I just had too much going on, but I will do it soon and let you know how that turned out. So there you go. Try this bread out. Let me know uh, how you like it, how easy it is. And, uh, and uh, y'all, thanks for watching and give us a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe.